Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm at OER here today and Glenn Fricker is doing a class on mixing metal drums right now. So he invited me out to play drums and I'm here with the, one of the faculty. He's setting up the drums right now. His name's Matt. Say hey Matt. Hey guys. So yeah, you guys see me doing a dry run before, but this is the real thing, and this is a setup right here. I'll go see if I can't uh, sneak in on Glenn. Spectre Media has the solution. It's called the secret to making your mic stand work more than once. That's absolutely right. After 20 years in the music business, I've struggled with many, many microphone stands, and it is always the same thing. And if you like this video, be sure to tune in next time when we take a look at turn signals, how you can overcome the challenge of moving three ounces of plastic. <laughs> We're actually going to do... So he's humoring them with his, his funny videos. Anyway, let's go over the setup quick here. What did he bring? Of course, Matt Bud ran away. Holy shit, this is a big fucking crowd. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'll, I'm going to give you guys a run through here real quick. Um, we're using the Lewitt Beat Pro 7 kit. I've been working with these for about the last six months, and they've kind of replaced my normal you know, mishmash of drum mics that I've been using because they're just fucking killer. For overheads, I'm using the small doctor and condensers. They're cool. They've got built in pads and bass roll off, so they're good on many sources, not just overheads. The Tom mics are great, they're kind of low profile. Which is fantastic. If this thing's stagnant, this is why I fucking hate my skins. But one of the biggest things you're, you're going to find dealing with drummers is they love to get their cymbals just about as close as possible to the toms because they're lazy and they don't want to fucking reach. And <laughs> drive, drive insane. So the, the, the Lewis Tom mics are actually a little smaller and sound as good as or better than 421, which has been the de facto lock standard for years and years and years. Lewis snare mic. <laughs> This is really great. This is actually becoming my favorite snare mic, MTP440DM. And um, this, I'm finding, is replaced the 57 for my favorite snare mic because it's a little less papery. I think when they designed this, they designed it with the digital rather than analog, and it just translates that much better. It's a little thicker sounding. I don't have to fight with it as much to get it to sound really good. So I'm really hoping this. this is also awesome on metal guitars. 421 underneath. Um, I used to use like a 57 down there to a Madsen who does the sugar record team, he suggested using uh, 421 underneath and yeah, it works pretty good. Um, in the back, we haven't raised them up yet, they're, they're the fun mics, we got some C414s back there, those are going to go way up high and capture the room, so this is kind of a heavy mic, this is the uh, Sullivan Low Free. And this is designed to pick up your subsonic frequencies in the kick drum. And it's designed to work in conjunction with your main kick drum. And this is a really cool kick mic here. I'm going to show you, pull this out of here and show you guys in a second. So this is, this is the Rex 640. This is a dual element kick mic. What this is, is a dynamic and a condenser in perfect phase. So you get this little Y cable, so it just goes up to two channels, and you can mix with different elements and kind of get like a slightly new cue. And if you're helping the drummer set his kit up, thank you to Cam, he did an amazing job. But you know, if you're helping the drummer set his kit up, your thumbs are going to be red right at the end of the day. Just crank your stuff over that. Especially if you've got a house kit, because all the drummers are going to want to change things up to, you know, to get it to sit differently, because, you know, they just have to complain about everything. <laughs> Except Cam, Cam's amazing. I'm all right, yeah, hey. <laughs> Cam, Cam's super easy to work with, actually. Pretty laid back. Uh, yeah, actually, Cam and Cam and Jackson Ward are both really great guys to work with, and that's why I bring them in so much on the show, because, you know, they're professionals, and they, they actually play. This is a well-set-up kit. Like I said, there's no little splashes or anything getting in the way, and Cam has finesse. You're going to find you're going to want to work with the drummer a lot. But Cam has the hi-hat set at a pretty reasonable distance from the snare mic. 
And honestly, when it comes to, to heavy rock and metal drums, this is gonna be the most important mic on the kit. So this has to, has to take precedence over anything and everything. This, ha this is more important than the drummer's comfort. This is more important than his setup. So if the drummer complains, tell them to shut the fuck up and fucking <laughs> put up with it and be a man. I, I, I feel we're gonna get to the point where people, bands are just gonna finally say, you know, okay, we want the real thing. Who do we know that can record drums? It's going to be it's going to be a skill that should come back at some point, at least in some kind of limited demand, because people are just going to get sick of it. 